Hello. Yes, the making of a Liverpool nationalist. That may be the title of a new book I'm going to write. When I say new book, it will be the political side of the previous book, where it was more or less two books in one, the political side and the clubland side. Action, race, water, door wars. You can't buy that no, no more. Uh, Lulu just discontinued it with some silly excuse they gave me. So I've got to rewrite the political side again. I've already done the clubland side in another book uh, called Pain and Plenty of It. It's on Amazon if you want to buy it. Um, it's updated a lot as well. So anyway, uh, I need to rewrite the political side. It won't be an autobiography, say like Tony Malone's, where I'm talking about my childhood. It'll really just be dealing with uh, myself as a Liverpool nationalist, right? Uh, I'm reading Tony Malone's book at the moment. I was reading David Cameron's, but it was a bit boring, so I thought I'd buy Tony Malone's and see what he had to say. The, the early part of his life's quite interesting. Uh, he's just getting into the swing of things now. He's a socialist. He's found Trotskyism and so on and so on. Uh, and it's interesting. One good thing about all that, though, is the conditions that bred class hatred and Marxism no longer exist. So Mr. Malayne and his fellow travellers, round about his age, they've carried this bankrupt um, creed with them. For decades and you're really flogging a dead horse but 10 out of 10 for your conviction and your commitments I suppose but it's gone all that now no one's interested in Trotskyism like they're not interested in other 1930s dictators we're living in an age of consumerism and pleasure seeking now and we have to approach this totally different and that's why you lot are getting it all wrong. That's why the Tories run rings around you. But anyway, that's for you to sort out. It's an interesting book, right? He was no friend of mine, Tony Malayan, but I'm not going to slag him off. The man's dead now. Uh, I'll read his book and uh, if I believe it, it won't say good review, I'll do one. Also, Margie Clark bottled it. She deleted a Twitter account. I'm disappointed, Miss Clark. I thought you had a fight in you. Obviously not. Uh, so anyway, if uh, anyone's got any old 19, late 1970s or 1980s nationalist photos that they'd like to send, I'll put it uh, in the new book. It may be called, I don't know, it's a good title, that, The Making of a Liverpool Nationalist. I don't know. Also, all the wrongans that way for hope not hate searchlights and the big boys in MI5, you'll all feature in a nice big mug shot with a lot of you. Uh, but I'll say no more on that. So I'm going to be writing the political side of um, the previous book. Uh, I read uh, Action, Race, War to Door Wars. But it'll have a more sensible uh, headline title this time. And also, uh, when I, I wrote that book back in 2007, it was rushed. And the guy that was meant to proofread it. Uh, and edited and whatever, didn't do it. In fact, I think he sabotaged it, if you ask me. So there's a lot of spelling mistakes and grammar clearers that have got to be fixed, and I'll do my best to do that. But I'm not an amateur writer, let alone a professional one, but what can you do? I'll do my best. So I'm going to rewrite that again and put it into a new book, right up to date with them all in it as well. That'll be good, won't it? <laughs> okay, thank you.